that were down uh, as late as, as yesterday. Well, he's going to be awfully glad to see them. <laughs> yeah. and you're looking at this That's giant right. truck with uh, those huge wheels there, Courtney, and you think if they can't make it, there are probably very few other vehicles could, um, but uh, let's hope they are able. Right, to exactly. I don't know how they're going to do this, though. I mean, they might have to stay on this vehicle. I, I just don't, because it's you can't stand up down there in it unless you're strapped yeah. to something. Well, I, that, I don't know, so we'll see how this plays out. And that truck creates, creates a huge wake. I mean, <laughs> look at that. Yeah power of that thing it's huge oh um, yeah but by the way our producer yeah. uh, esther just explained that there are 118,000 centerport customers uh, without power so that's that's the number right now and that has been fluctuating it's kind of been all over the place yeah those guys are just working around the clock yeah they have been yeah and, and you know what they don't have to do this but yeah. they wanted to do this they want to reach out because they have a job to do they're trying to restore lines but yet they see someone who needs help and they say, hey, we'll go, we'll go do this. I'm sure it's not in their, in their book to, to do that, in their rule book. But you know what? They're going to make it happen anyway, right, Courtney? Right, exactly. I can't tell. Are they getting, are they getting close to them? Guys, yes, I can't. Um, it's so hard for me to see back here. I mean, I just... It looks as though they are. I mean, they certainly haven't slowed down. We don't, we don't yet don't have the sign within our view, but they are definitely headed uh, okay. somewhere with determination. So we're hoping. It looks they're like they're pretty close. passing them. If you if you pan to the left, the camera operator. If you can, who's working with you, Courtney? Pan to the left. Yeah, Lynn is. Uh, okay, Lynn. Okay. Okay, there he is right there. So um, I wonder if they just passed him up. Maybe they're going to circle around, or that, I don't. You may be right. It looks know. as though they're doing just that. You know what? While they're doing that, uh, our producer has suggested, and this is probably a good idea. We're going to put this in a in a box, and I'm not directing. I'm just telling them what <laughs> what our producer had indicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what's going to happen, and then we're going to come back to you when when they get ready to re rescue. Well, they well, stopped now. Yeah, they stopped it. They, yeah, our director is asking us what we'd like. Uh, what we'd like to see is just uh, whether or not we can hold on to this picture for a few more seconds, because it looks as though they're conferring with each other. Yeah, at least they're talking to them now. Yeah, and, and they may be trying to decide how to back up and get there. And Scott, you're the greatest, by the way, in case I haven't told you today. Yeah, you've been awesome. Yeah, they, um, but as we sit there and watch this, Courtney, what's interesting about this is sometimes these stories develop just because we're on the air. And our viewers uh, can immediately call somebody up and say, hey, did you know about this? Or, yeah. or, or fly oh, he's going to oh, swim. Oh, is he swimming away? <clears throat> or is he swimming? It looks like well, he's swimming the other direction towards the Is he swimming for it? Oh, yeah. Lynn, I can't see. Lynn is telling me that he's trying to... I don't know where he's going. Oh, but they, another, there must they, be other rescues happening they were speaking in, to in the him. area because there's another helicopter. They were talking to him, and then he's... He jumped yeah. in the water and started swimming. I'm not sure if he's going the opposite way or well, if he wants to come back. It looked like he was swimming towards that semi, but now he's kind of disappeared. He was wearing an orange jacket and the semi is orange, so we can't see him right this second. Yeah, not sure where he is now, but... Um, Jeez. All right. Well, Courtney, listen, if you... Well, I'll well, keep an eye on it. Yeah, yeah, keep an eye on it and see if he pops up somewhere. I mean, I, I'm assuming just when I say pop up, I'm not talking about up out of the water. I just think he might be around over there on the left-hand side somewhere, perhaps grabbing a hold of something else. I don't know. I don't know how deep it is over there. But uh, these well, guys... Well, and they're certainly looking, too, trying to figure out what's going on. It's clearly deep. Look at that big, you know, high-profile vehicle. And you can also see a lot of traffic there on the other side of a red light. It's, it's hard to tell whether or not that, uh, those are vehicles that are moving or, or just yeah. what that is. But maybe if your cameraman can pan over one more. Well, let's see there. Now we see somebody else in the water, it looks like. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's somebody else. He's trying to get to his truck, I guess. I don't know. Well, suddenly this... This story has taken an interesting turn, hasn't it? Now that Do you guys see the helicopter? It's kind of been circling. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know if he's if he's coming this way. It's a black helicopter. It's not a helicopter. Black helicopter. Yeah. We haven't um, seen it. But it's anything been circling. Yet. All right. Yeah. Now we yet. see the helicopter. That is. Yeah, it's right above. Yeah. yeah. That, that's not Coast Guard, and it's. It's been. I mean, it's turning again. That may be a DPS or a county chopper, but it's it's not a Coast Guard. Um, but he's at least circling right, that area. Right. And let's see if they drop a line then, perhaps. They just might do that. Uh, we 
we've seen so many of these aerial rescues, they've been so dramatic because some of them have been tandem rescues where you will have a rescuer uh, connected to the line. They'll be lowered in the basket to help somebody else. And uh, other times they haven't done that. Yeah, exactly. They've just dropped a, a, a sort of a leash right. uh, to wrap around that person, and then that person is hoisted up all on their own. And we've certainly seen those big baskets where they've lowered up. I think that could person. be what's about to happen. You think so? Yeah, I think you may be right. Well, and in most cases, we've seen them pluck people off of a roof or off a high balcony or something. Oh, gosh, it's windy okay, out here. Yeah. Is, uh, you know what? That looks I, that looks like a military it chopper. That might, that's the, that's, you know what that is? That's the uh, National Guard. I'm sure that's a National Guard chopper. Uh -huh. uh, you're right. I think you're right. That, yeah, I, I it's right that's above that's the water. It's right, it's, it's right, above right above this spot that right area. now. Yeah. Okay, so just for those of you who are checking in with us now that's um there are a couple of people in the water we've seen them floating around down there hanging on to uh, various objects uh we have a chopper now in the air it looks like national guard chopper this is one of those military rescue um uh, medical choppers they'll possibly be dropping a line here soon and i heard you courtney say it's very windy you can tell he's uh He's working pretty hard here to kind of keep steady, but these guys certainly know what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, absolutely. And these conditions, I mean, you know, you yes. know, these conditions have been less than ideal this entire yeah. time. It's getting lower. I mean, we're it's it's really it's getting lower, right? I, I wonder if there are other people out there. I, I can't see. You know, it's so real. far back, and as we've seen so many times, people have been in cars, and then days later, just they kind of pop up. Yeah, so. Right. Uh, you know, maybe they just didn't have any way of letting people know I'm, I'm in here. You know, there's a lot to consider for this uh, pilot as well, because you, you notice all of the power lines so close yes. to where he is. So once they hoist someone up, mm -hmm. the wind will always carry that person, um, you know, a certain direction. And you certainly don't want them hitting any of the power lines. So they have to, there's a lot of thought that goes into this process of, of rescuing someone with, uh, you know, from a chopper. And on the left side of the screen, by the way, that's Marla Carter's shot. Is that right? Yeah, so it looks like a lot of folks are there trying to get out of an area. We'll go to Marla in a moment. But we, we saw first the guy that was clinging to a signpost swim off. Uh, we're not sure where he was going. Actually, oh, swimming wow. away from what looked like yeah. um, the uh, center point workers. Uh, look at the dog struggling on the left. And the reason I'm bringing that up because this, this, that's rushing water. That's Kingwood area. Now we have not seen pictures like this out of Kingwood. This is a, this is amazing. That's Christine Dobbin. She's okay. Chris, are we able to hear some audio on her? Do, do we want to do that or no? I, I, I think. I, I mean, I'm just wondering, we can just, once the line starts to drop on the helicopter, then we go back to the chopper, but I, I, I don't know, because we haven't, but that's a lot of rushing water there. That's, I don't know if that water is rushing into the neighborhoods, rushing out. Christine Dobbin, can you hear us, and can you talk to us? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, okay. So tell us where you are, Christine. This is the, the water... Yeah, we are we are in Kingwood. Uh, this is Lake Houston Parkway, and oh, just unbelievable uh, rescues taking place here. Hey, he's dropping a gun. And I, I want to show you. Hey, Seuss, if you can pan back here too, I want to show you. There are so many boats here uh, that the backup is, is incredible. I mean, the outpouring uh, that has come to help, and so they're trying to launch all those boats as quickly as they can, but they go oh way gosh. back. And actually, we're we're going to get on one of them, but it takes a long, long time. And they've had some really um, large boats, which has been great uh, because they've been able to take more people but I know at times uh, some of the boats have, have hit things um, so they're trying to be real careful and, yeah. and uh, use certain flat bottom boats and, and be particular about that but we have seen uh, dozens of dozens of people coming here and the, the water is really really rapid and I want to show you the bridge hey sister if you can pan over here the bridge they're walking up this way the bridge and the water just just everywhere and, and it's pretty rapid water hey, Christine, Chris, can you hold on just for a second because we're watching the second story Story. Two dramatic stories yeah. happening here at the, at the same time. And we're watching a helicopter now drop someone, drop a rescuer down. Oh, those Very lines close so to those power close. lines. It looks Ooh. now, is he entangled or he's just very, very close to no, those he's lines? Just, they're having to watch it so very close. Yeah, really thread this needle. But that rescue worker is coming down. 
And presumably there are several more people then behind there because... Well, we've seen at least two, we think. Yeah. One over very close to the truck, and a second man who we saw initially... Okay, now sunk. he's on the top so of the So he's on the top so of, he's, of, he's, of he's the shed there. There's a rescuer on a roof. Can you guys yeah, see that? See him can you guys on see the, the rescuer on the yes. roof? Aaron, no, can I use your phone for a second? There are buildings out here. So I wonder if there are other people that we can't see because of the tree line, and they've just That'd been, be okay. you know, waving every time a Coast Guard or someone passes, and, you know, you just wonder. I, I can't tell if there are more people than this guy who was in a truck. Brian, it looks as though he's trying to talk to somebody. He's leaning down. But uh, it is just um, incredible to me that they managed to thread the needle through all of what looks like uh, power lines there. All right, now it, he's disappeared behind another sign, but he may be in the water. Yeah, our photo my photographer seems to think he is going after the driver who is behind the sign okay. right now. So the original um, person we saw this. in the water. And we are just holding our breath that he's It's low. That person. helicopter is low and yeah. it has to it has to just hold its oh. spot. I, I just every time I see something like this, I think that's incredible, especially because, you know, you gotta be, the weather has not been very right. delightful for you us. You have to know what you're doing when you make this type of rescue right. in the middle of all of those power lines. Well, now, uh, 